Thanks a lot, Stuart. A busy summer season is now underway at the Pocatello Zoo, and today we have Kate O'Connor and Dr. Joy joining us this morning. Thank you so much for coming right. in. We're going to start out with some of the activities going on, and you have a very special one to talk about, don't you, Kate? Yes, we have a very happy birthday, which this year we're going to be debuting our black baby bear that we've been talking about the last couple weeks here at the station. That's right. And we've actually extended the activities because we've had in the last couple of years people complaining, oh, it's just too short of an event. Mm -hmm. So this year the event's going to run from 10 to 2.30. So everybody gets plenty of time to do the activities, mm -hmm. and then we're going to do cake, right? Smack dab in the middle for the people, <laughs> and cake for the bears, actually, too. Okay. But, um, and and so when you say cake for the bears, what type of cake do they get? They get a, basically, it's made out of a giant ice cube, and we put fish in it, and we put um, fruit in it, just oh, all great. kinds of fun stuff for okay. the animals to eat. That's wonderful. So all ages are invited to come out. Yes, this is definitely an all age program. Okay. And we sing happy birthday to the How bears. Fun. It's like horses. We're going to just celebrate his birthday, yeah. even though he's not quite a year old. <laughs> okay, yet. that's of course, wonderful. Of course, Stripes, who's going to celebrate I think 22nd yeah. birthday. Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds great. You also have um, a special guest with us, not only Dr. Joy, but also <laughs> some other little guests that we're going to show you this morning. Tell us a little bit about these special guests. Well, you know, this is the time of the year where there's a lot of babies, and we have a lot of babies at the zoo, and we actually have a few robins at the zoo. Okay. These were rescued by Dr. Joy, and she's having a little trouble catching one. I don't know if uh, Craig can zoom in. Um, I think you that. can tell them because of the spots on their chest. Right. Uh -huh. And we're really fortunate because not all parts of the of the nor parts of the northern hemisphere have robins. If you go up into um, Canada and, and Alaska, they don't really have Ooh, robins. It's no, not wow. that common. Now, what do you suggest people do if they have something like this near their home? Or well, they're like first that? they're supposed to call the Department of Fish and Wildlife. If okay. it's a songbird, um, Dr. Joy here does do some rescues for songbirds, and we try to rehab them and okay. release them around the zoo or mm -hmm. in the vicinity. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and we'll have more details of all the activities going on, plus we'll feature more of the birds, and then we also have a really great story to talk about that happened at the zoo recently. Yeah, really exciting. So it will be really fun. Right now, let's send it back over to Stuart.